The man charged with the murder of a Trader Joe's employee is expected to be arraigned on dozens of charges today. The employee was killed during a police shootout with that suspect. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal is live downtown Los Angeles with details. Jasmine. Yeah, Jeff and Sharon, so the arraignment for the suspect, Gene Adkins, was delayed last month until this morning because of all the evidence that they had to sift through and the fact that new charges were added. So today, Adkins facing not only a murder charge, but he's going to have to answer and make a plea to some 50 counts of attempted murder, carjacking, holding people hostage on that July afternoon. Take a look. This is Adkins in court from an earlier appearance. On July 21st, Adkins is accused of engaging in that running gun battle with police that ended outside the Silver Lake Trader Joe's when he crashed into a pole. It was there as Adkins ran into the store that 27-year-old assistant manager Melita Carrado was struck and killed by police gunfire as she went outside to see what was going on. Before Adkins finally surrendered, he had held multiple shoppers and store employees hostage for hours. Police had been chasing him for allegedly shooting his grandmother in her South LA home and kidnapping the 17-year-old girl. So his arraignment today comes just weeks after the LAPD released even more body cam footage of the chase and shooting. And these videos show only parts of the intense 14 minute long car chase and gun battle. Lawyers representing the family of Melly Carrado have called the video a slanted public relations piece, and they have requested that the department turn over all of the unedited footage and documents, which the LAPD says they cannot do during this active investigation. So again, the suspect, Gene Adkins, expected to finally be arraigned on all those dozens of counts later this morning. And Jeff and Sharon, he is being charged with her murder, even though he did not fire that fatal shot because under state law, he is accused of starting the deadly chain of events.